welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to discuss the kind of uh, refractive index of ionosphere so how we can find out let's see so we will discuss it in the short so refractive index of uh, ionosphere okay so as you know the refractive index of ionosphere is uh, like we have the different kind of layer that is somehow i will show you like this it will uh, look like if we draw the diagram of it so first of all we have this troposphere which is the lowest uh, uh, layer uh, of atmosphere and then we have this this ionosphere these are the layers of ionosphere in which we have d layer then we have e layer then f1 layer and f2 layer the f1 and f2 gets uh, mix uh, uh, at the time of night uh, okay so now we will just discuss it is the ionosphere and we are just going to calculate the refractive index of it so for that what we need to do is first of all we have to know that uh, the force uh, which we know is f equals to ma it is using the uh, 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 newton's law okay okay you know f equals to ma and we can write it as f m uh, a equals to dv by dt okay this is our first equation now uh, what we have to do is we have to just follow some rules that is like uh, uh, another uh, force in terms of the electric field is uh, qe okay so q is the charge here and we will consider it to be the electron so we will take it minus e okay so uh, the equation would be f equals to minus ke into e so this would be our second equation so now what we have to do is we have to just put the put these equation to the equal to each other now we will get m dv by dt equals to minus e e okay now what we have to do is we have to just take it uh, to the another side dv by dt equals to minus uh, e e and upon m okay now what you have to do is you have to put the value of e equals to em sin omega t so this is a general uh general wave which we know in terms of sign we are writing it now dv by dt what it would be it would be minus e omega upon m and uh, uh, just remove it first of all we are just writing it S sin omega t okay so now take uh, doing the integration in both the sides so taking the integration on both the sides what we will get v equals to minus e and when we take the integration of sin omega t it will be minus cos omega t so it will get the positive so e upon m omega it will uh, become e m cos omega t okay so this is the equation which we will get let us consider to be the a okay now uh, moving ahead as we got the value of v so uh, we also know that the conduction current is the conduction current is uh, i c equals to n a v d e the v d is a drift current okay so we have already find out the velocity of drift current using the electrons uh, previously in the first equation or a equation so now uh, we will put the value of v d here so i c equals to uh, let us suppose n is capital n the number of electrons and a is 1 so what we will get is n v d e so after putting the value of uh, v d from the first equation what we will get so this we will get is e e m cos omega t upon m omega now this is the equation which we will get now uh, uh, this this uh, conduction current would be in the negative you know negative uh, because here is the electron okay so electron would be in the negative so it will become ic equals to an e square em cos omega t upon m omega okay hope you got it so this is the conduction current which you, we have uh, got so now uh, we are moving to the uh, displacement current you know displacement current uh, so uh, as we have got the displacement current so sorry as we have got the conduction current we will now find out the value of displacement current okay so as you know the total current would be equals to uh, the displacement current plus conduction current so we need to find out the displacement current here so for the displacement current as you know that uh, id equals to 
let us suppose uh, d okay d d by dt so d is you know uh, the d is e into epsilon naught so after putting the value uh, we will get uh, d uh, it is epsilon naught we will just let it suppose it it is the k naught okay we will uh, consider it to be the k naught or you can just put it to the epsilon naught i will consider it to the k naught so k naught and uh, del e by del t now you know the e value what is the value of e uh, we have already uh, uh, solved the previous uh, equation of a with the help of putting the value of e so we will put the value of e here too so it would be uh, the d e m sin omega t upon dt okay so we will differentiate this value with uh, uh, with the respect to t so what we will get is id equals to k naught so this value would become em cos omega t and the value of omega will get multiplied here so this is the c equation now we know that the total current is equals to id plus ic this is the conduction current plus the displacement current so it would become it equals to uh, i will just write out the value uh, this is omega k naught em cos omega t minus uh, that is the value of ic the conduction current so minus i will take uh, because uh, here is the minus negative sign so n e square em cos omega t upon m omega now taking the value of uh, the common uh, uh, what is the common here is em cos omega t so the value will become uh, the rest value we will take here uh, it would be w k naught or omega k naught sorry minus it would be n e square upon m omega okay now after doing this what we have to do is uh, after this value uh, we will just take out the value of omega 2 because uh, uh, you will see why I am taking it, taking it out. So I t equals to uh, this is the E m cos omega t. So I will write it like uh, same as it is cos omega t. Okay. And I am uh, just taking the value of omega outside. Again, I am taking the value of omega outside. So it will become k naught minus n. It was e square upon m omega square okay got it so after taking the value outside uh, it will become del d by del t okay you know the value uh, how it comes here if i just differentiate the value of this or d so it will come uh, uh, the uh, it is d e by dt okay so d e by dt it will come like uh, this this value you can uh, see here just uh, accept this omega em cos omega t it would be the d by dt so i will write it as i t equals to d e pi dt and this value is k naught minus n e square upon m omega square this is our d equation let us suppose now what uh, what we have to do is okay uh, let me explain you once again because uh, i think uh, uh, it is not shown in this uh, so it uh, i have write down from here the it equals to em cos omega ct i have taken the omega outside so after taking the omega outside we will get em cos omega t k naught minus n e square upon m omega square and we know the value of omega em cos omega t equals to d e by dt because if we will differentiate the uh, em uh, sin omega t in terms of uh, with respect to dt so it will get the value we will get the value of omega em cos omega t so this is the equation we will get the d the d equation is here now uh, we know that uh, the value of uh, d is e into epsilon naught or we can say it is k into k naught okay so we have uh, got the value of somehow this so uh, let us suppose it is the value we are having the value of k okay so i will write it as k equals to k naught minus n e square upon m omega square okay so 
so how it comes here is like uh, you know the the we have earlier uh, taken i equals to uh, d d by dt that is the displacement current and if we uh, if i put the value of d here it would be e into f sin naught or uh, you can say k into k naught so if i just differentiate dk by dt or just uh, e into k naught you just suppose it so d e by dt okay i will write it out here i equals to d e by dt into k naught okay so from this equation and this equation i have just compared it out so i have compared this e equation with the d equation so i will get the value of k naught uh, uh, k you can just suppose it k okay so k equals to k naught minus n e square upon m okay m omega square okay now uh, what we have to do is we have to just solve it like uh, like as the as the value we are getting is k so we will just take the value of k upon k naught and it will become uh, uh, 1 minus uh, n e square upon m omega square k naught uh, k naught i have just taken out so it is k naught now uh, you know uh, i can just write it as kr so kr equals to i will get 1 minus n e square upon m omega square k naught so this is the value i have got uh, from uh, the displacement and the uh, conduction current now you know the value of mu is under root kr mu is our refractive index so now i am calculating the value of mu so mu equals to under root of uh, 1 minus n e square upon m omega square k no so now as you know the value of uh, here i am just writing the electron uh, uh, charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power uh, minus 19 okay so uh, as you already know the value of uh, the mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 and uh, now uh, another thing that you need to know is you need to know the value of k no okay this this value is uh, 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 okay after putting these values i will get the value of mu equals to uh, under root of uh, 1 minus 81 n upon f square okay so f i i have got uh, like omega equals to 2 pi f you know so 2 pi uh, the pi value is 3.142 you can put it here and we will get the mu equals to 1 minus 81 and upon f square so after getting this value we can just uh, find out the value of critical frequency also so we are just going to solve the value of critical frequency too in this video so let's calculate the uh, critical frequency so uh, critical frequency we know the frequency uh, at which the incident angle or we can say the 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 angle which is uh, transmitted uh, uh, by which the uh, signal is transmitted to the space the i equals to zero at i equals to zero so uh, you know you mu we have got mu equals to 1 minus 81 n upon f square and uh, uh, here i will put down the value of sin i upon sin r using the snell's law so it will get 1 minus 81 n upon f square so uh, you know the value of uh, i that i have to put is zero because uh, if uh, i am just uh, uh, transmitting a signal from the ground at the zero degree so we need to find out the critical frequency at that point so the frequency at which the uh, the incident or the the transmitting angle is zero degree so Uh, the frequency will known as is known as the critical frequency so here it would be sin 0 upon sin r equals to under root 1 minus 81 n upon f square let us suppose f is fc here because we are just calculating the value of critical frequency so i am just supposing it to be the f equals to fc so now equal uh, is way it will become 0 uh, 1 minus 81 and upon fc square i have taken the under uh, the square uh, on both the sides so it will become 1 equals to 81 and upon fc square so fc square equals to 81 n and fc would be equals to uh, the uh, under root of 81 n or you can write it as 9 under root n so i can just write it as nm because we are having the number of uh, electrons would be the maximum number of electrons okay because if we are just uh, uh, transmitting a frequency at 0 uh, degree so 
द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वुड बी मैक्सिमम एट द हाइट नाउ वी हैव गोट द वैल्यू ऑफ क्रिटिकल फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑल्सो ओके सो इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल जस्ट फाइंड आउट द रिलेशन बिटवीन द एम यू एफ द मैक्सिमम यूजबल फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड द द हाइट ओके सो ओके थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो होप यू विल लाइक इट एंड एंड इफ यू यू आर हैविंग एनी काइंड ऑफ डाउट यू कैन जस्ट कमेंट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द क्रिटिकल फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड द रिफ्लेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ आइनोस्फेयर सो थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन